Let's meet the McDonald family. Brendan, Mary, Mary, Sheila, and Armando. Ready for action. Playing against the Clint family. David, Maury, Noreen, Kristen, and Paul. On your marks. Let's start the family feud. With the star of Family Feud, Ray. Thank you very much for that ovation. Thank you for joining us at home. It's just, it's festive here on the set. We've got all these wonderful decorations, two great families. It's just got a great spirit about it. Right now, I think we should, though, introduce our returning champions. For the third time, the McDonald family. Would you give them a big holiday welcome? Hi, Ray. Hello, Brendan. Two times you've gone for the big money, two times you've got it. 20836 All right. Very happy about that. We are, too. Who'd you bring with you? Tell everybody who wants you. I brought my pretty wife, Mary. Hi, pretty. Cute. <laughs> pretty cute. This is my sister-in-law, Sheila. Good to see you again. Hi. My sister, Mary. Mary, who Still needs a date. We're going to a little richer now. <laughs> so, and then we have my brother-in-law, Armando. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> Some new opponents. Say hello to the Clint family. Yeah! Woo! 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 Mallory, hey. how you doing? You seem bubbly and excited and, and ready to go. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> you should have seen me earlier. Were you nervous? Yes, I you was. Can't, you can't tell it at all now. Okay. Thanks. Who'd you bring with you to be champs? I now? brought my wonderful husband, David. Oh, thank you. I brought my sister. <laughs> all right. Hi, David. <laughs> Don't show. I brought my sister-in-law, Kristen. Hello. Hi. My mother-in-law, Noreen. Hi, Hi Noreen. Merry Christmas. And my brother-in-law, Tall Paul. Tall Paul. Yes. Right. Oh, I'm going to love going down there and standing by Tall Paul. Yeah. I wish you a lot of luck. Thank you. I think right now we should play the feud. Wendy. Mallory. Mallory, I got a feeling you're about two steps ahead of everybody in this room. The first family of $300 is going to win the game, get a chance to play fast money for the $10,000. Good luck. We asked 100 people this question. We've got the top seven answers on the board. Try to find the most popular. Name something you do on Christmas Eve. Mallory. Open a present. You open a present. A present. It's number one. Oh, 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 oh. Well, the Clint's take control. David, officially welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, this is a bubbly, vivacious wife that you have. Yes. How many years have you guys been murdered? Married. Uh, <laughs> Ten going on eleven. Yes. Happy, blissful years. Yes, they have been. She must be fun to live with. She is. She's a joy. <laughs> what else are you going to say? All right. Name something you do on Christmas Eve. Uh, sing Christmas carols. Yes. Good answer. Good answer. Well, thank you. Yes. Let me see. Derek the Halls. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The second most popular answer in the surveys there, Kristen. Hi. Hi, Ray. Good to see you. You got an answer? I have an answer. All right. We eat. <laughs> <laughs> just sit around and <laughs> just eat food. That's a, that's a tradition. Yes. We do that every day. Of so do we. Not even we do it extra well People do Eve. do that. All right. Let us see. Eat. Oh! Have a special Christmas Eve meal. You didn't, didn't make our survey. Noreen. Hello. You're the matriarch of this I clan. I sure am. What a grip. One more time. That hurt. Oh, Ow. Hey, yes. Oh, sorry. That's okay. All right, what do you do? I mean, where did you get those strong hands? This is my production. I've, I've had to have strong hands for this group. <laughs> All right. To slap them around. That's right. Okay. Keep them in line. Noreen. Yes. Name something you do on Christmas Eve. A lot of people trim the tree on Christmas Eve. Yes, they yes. do. <laughs> How tall are you, Paul? Six five. Okay. And how tall were you when you were born? Well, you've been saving up a long time. Remember how tall he was, Noreen? Yeah, he was twenty two inches. I was average. I was twenty two inches, yeah. and look what happened. <laughs> I've shrunk since birth. <laughs> Something you do on Christmas Eve? We always bring out the mistletoe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is there anybody special whose head you hold it over, Paul? Yeah. Who would that be? My wife. You have to use any... to get her started? <laughs> no, but uh, something I can keep it going. Depends how things are going. Put it on your headboard all year long. It works wonderful, Paul. <laughs> Show me mistletoe. Oh. I thought it was...
was a good answer. It just didn't make our survey. I have it. Mallory has it. When she says she has it, she has it. I have it. What is it? Candlelight church service. People do that. Yes! 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 Four answers there. Is one of them candlelight church service? Yes, yes, yes. David? That's weird. Well, what I do, since I have, I have two boys, is I put toys together. Yes. Oh, that's a tough yes. Makes you appreciate Santa Claus a little more, doesn't it? Well, he has to go through. Show us assemble toys. Oh! Yeah. Hey, Chris. Yes, Kristen. Um, some people go visiting. They go visiting? Mm -hmm. Other uh, families? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They could be there. Two strikes to stay alive. Show me visiting. There's one answer. If you give it to me, you strike first. A lot of people have other friends over. Yes, to yes. their home. Yes, right. Okay, let's see if it's there. Okay. 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 Visit you. Oh. Not there. McDonald's, one answer, and you steal the entire bank. Armando, something you do on Christmas Eve. Give presents. Give presents, Mary. Drink eggnog. Drink eggnog. Drink eggnog. Drink eggnog. Drink, eggnog. drink a lot of eggnog. Give presents. Brendan, one answer. The bank is yours. You say. Drink eggnog. For All that right, bank. let's go. For McDonald's, show me eggnog. There's something that we didn't know. Does the audience know? What do you do on number five? What's that, sir? Guy says, make popcorn. Bad answer, sir. All right. Show me number five. Hang stockings. The feud's coming back. Don't go away. There's a lot of fun right after these things. Challengers, the Clint family, seventy-five dollars. The champions of McDonald's, zero. Let's go, Mary. Against David, we've got the top seven answers on the board. We asked one hundred people, name something you were afraid of as a kid that you're still afraid of today. Mary, the dark. Let me see the dark. It's number one. Think of a steal. You might get that chance to steal. Are you uh, still afraid of the dark? A little uneasy when it's dark now. <laughs> yes. You, if you, at, at outside, anytime it's dark, you just Any, don't like to go. Uh, just a little uneasy. Just okay. feel. Good. I am too. I'm a chicken. I'll mm -hmm. admit it. Sheila. The boogeyman. <laughs> the boogeyman. The boogeyman. <laughs> Who is the boogeyman? The robber. The man that comes in at night. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was okay. I don't going to tell you what I thought it was. It used to <laughs> no, scare no. me too. Let me see the boogeyman. One strike. Mary, for people I, who might have just tuned in, we've been on a quest all, year, all week long on, throughout this country to try to find you a man. Yes. <laughs> no one has called yet. It's not because they don't love you, but I think they're intimidated because of you. you're so rich now. You want so much money on the show. Thank you. <laughs> Name something that you were afraid of as a kid that you're still afraid of today. Scary movies. Yeah. Good answer. What movie scared you the most? Alien. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mary says, the movies. <laughs> Not there, though. Two strikes, Armando. You need to give me an answer to stay alive, or the, or the Clints are going to try to steal. I'll say ghosts. <laughs> You're afraid of them today? No. <laughs> you weren't afraid of them as a kid? No, but someone else might be. <laughs> You're lying, Armando. We're all afraid of ghosts. Show me ghosts. <laughs> oh, that was a good answer. It didn't make our survey. It's a third strike. The Clints can steal. Name something you were afraid of as a kid you're still afraid of today. You got six answers. The Ball. dentist. The dentist, Marie. <laughs> Policeman. Monsters. Policeman, Marie? Something we should know about your past? <laughs> no. All right, Kristen? Monsters. Monsters, David? A thief. A thief? Mallory, there's a lot of different answers there. You can take them, go out on your own. You got six to steal from you. Give me one. You got that bank. Dentist. What do you want to say? Dentist. The dentist. Yes. You're going to say dentist? Yes, that's true. It makes a lot of sense. Go to the bank, show me dentist. Not there. You tell me how the McDonald's take the bank. I don't know how we missed so many of these. We surveyed 100 average people. When I reveal these, we're all going to say, oh, we're stupid, because it's going to make a lot of sense. Show me number two. Snake. Does that make sense? Number three. Lightning. Number four? Spider. Now I'm betting number five is Geraldo Rivera. Let's see. Show us. Number five? Heights. Number six? 
Big dogs. And number seven. Yeah. All that makes sense. We're coming back. Don't go away. There's a lot more. Welcome back to Family Feud. Right now, the Clint family has seventy-five dollars. The McDonald's has thirty. We go shoot with another face against the lovely Christmas. The dollar value is doubled for this question. We've got the top six answers on the board. Name a food that comes in a cardboard container. Sheila. TV dinner. She says a TV dinner. All right, Kristen, one answer will give you control. I just want to tell you, you had the fastest hand move. She went like this. You jerked first. You went up to Cleveland, back down. You got to move faster. Give me any answer. Pizza. Show me pizza. It's there. Come over. Look at now, Noreen, how many kids do you have in your family? Six. Six? Oh, you would know a lot about this. Name a food that comes in a cardboard container. If milk is a food, milk. It is yeah, a food for babies. Yeah, so. yeah, Perhaps yeah. milk. Yeah. Golf ball? What do you got for me? Breakfast cereal. You say, uh, at right. the, they do come in cardboard containers. Breakfast cereal. Yeah. 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 Seven people said it. I got it. Mallory, you always... You got it, you got it. Were you ever a cheerleader? You look like a cheerleader. I was... No. <laughs> you, would, you should have been a cheerleader. Oh, I'm so stupid. No. Wait a minute. No, come on. You could have been a cheerleader. Oh, thank you. You could have been my cheerleader. Oh. Name a food that comes in a cardboard container. Eggs. Yeah. Eggs! Yes! Eggs! No? Let me see some eggs. I'm surprised. That's surprising. It's styrofoam. Yes. Oh. David? She took my answer, which is a good answer. Of course, David, it wasn't good. David, you should never admit that she... She took your wrong answer. Oh, <laughs> that's no, there's no consolation in that. I guess it's not. Um, cake mix. Cake mix. Yeah. Three answers there is one of them, cake mix. No, it's not. Now it's two strikes. Kristen, you seem pensive, oh, you seem lost, you seem oh, daisy disoriented. I'm trying to picture my cupboard. Well, that's not the question. <laughs> Name a food that comes in a cardboard container. Three seconds. This quick. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. I feel like I sent that to you. I'm connected here. You did. This quick. Let me see. This quick. It's a third strike. This might not be as easy as we think. Armando? Ice cream. Well, let me ask the question. This is our job, all right? Name a food that comes in a cardboard container. He says ice cream. Ice cream, Mary? Mashed potato spuds. Mashed potato spuds. Shoot. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese, Mary. French fries. French fries. Brendan. Take out Chinese food. You go out on your own and say, take out Chinese food. Your family's giving you a couple of different answers. It seems like the crowd is with you. The crowd is clapping for you. That means that most of them are probably with the Clint family. All right. Name a food that comes in a cardboard container. Our, he said, Chinese food. You're the hero. Now, let's see if anybody else in the family gave him any good advice. Number five. Ice cream, Armando. Number six, crackers. Well, one hundred sixty-two dollars for our champions. The Clints have seventy-five. Let's go. It's time for another face All right. The dollar value is tripled. We've got the top four answers on the board. This is a good question. Name something that every woman hates to discover. Mary. I'm fat. That they're fat. Name something that every woman hates to discover. They get up one morning and look in the mirror. Ah! I'm fat! Show me that great fat discovery. They gain weight. See, I never know these things, Noreen. Wrinkles. Ooh. They hate to discover it. Wrinkles. Ball. Now, you have to think from the perspective of a woman. Name something that every woman hates to discover. Well, she's married for her husband is cheating on her. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Good answer, Paul. Good. Oh, yeah. Very good. 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 Show me. I want to say maybe she's fat. No, but I'm not going to say that. <laughs> show me. Show me. Cheating. Oh, all right. I thought that was going to be number one. Surprising that only five people would say that. Maybe women just don't care anymore. <laughs> Name something that every woman hates to discover. Mallory, you give me number one answer. You got the bank and a big lead. Gray hair. Oh. Gray hair. Makes a lot of sense. Gray hair. A clean sweep, and you win the game. Let me see for the game. Gray hair. They really 
came out of the dark. You've got twenty thousand some dollars. It's been really fun having you on the show. God bless you, Mary. You'll get that, man. Armando, thank you very much. Twenty thousand nine hundred ninety-eight dollars. I need two players for ten thousand dollars. Who's it gonna be? Let's go right now. Who's playing first? David, off stage. You playing first? No, no, you Kristen, off stage. All right, the Clint's playing fast. Money for ten thousand dollars. Right after the. Welcome back to the feud. The Clints are our new champions. They're about to play fast money for $10,000. David, you know how it works. I'm going to ask you five questions. You're going to give me the most popular answers you can think of. You have 15 seconds to do it. If you and your partner pile up 200 or more points, you take home the $10,000. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good. 15 seconds on the clock, please. Good luck. The time will begin after I finish reading the first question. Name an animal that looks like it's smiling. Something people do in cars at a red light. Uh, talk. Tell me how old you want to live to be. Seventy. Name a popular male singer. Uh, Julio Iglesias. Something that comes in a travel size. Uh, shaving kit. Turn around. Uh, Name an animal that looks like it's smiling. You said it's a smiling dog. <laughs> I've never seen one. Our survey said 16. There are some. Something people do in cars at a red light. You said they talk. Our survey said two people said they talk. Tell me how old you want to live to be. You said 70 years old. Our survey said only three people want to live to be 70. Name a popular male singer. You said Julio Iglesias. <laughs> Our survey said Well, that's surprising. You have to 20. Uh -huh. Something that comes in a travel size. You said a shaving kit. Our survey said Okay, uh -oh. cover those answers. David, nice job. All, All right, right. Uh, back with your family. Now watch this. Kristen, 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 turn around. I just want to tell you one thing. Trust me when I tell you there are a lot of number one answers there for you to give. I believe you. I, don't... I really believe yes. you. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. If you hear this sound, it means you've duplicated one of David's answers for your sake. I hope you don't. <laughs> If you come up with 176 points, which it'll be the comeback, and I know you can do it, you're going to be a hero. Don't give him any of the money. 20 seconds on the clock, please. You can do this. Name an animal that looks like it's smiling. Pass. Something people do in cars at a red light. Stop. Tell me how old you want to live to be. 80. Name, try, 85. Name a, pop, name a popular male singer. Engelbert Humperdinck. Something that comes in a travel size. Pass. Name an animal that looks like it's smiling. Cat. Something that comes... Turn around. Something that comes in a travel size. Uh, time, I'm sorry. We can only give you 20 seconds twice. All right, so <laughs> name an animal that looks like it's smiling. You said a cat. Our survey said 28. Cat was the number one answer, Kristen. That was good. Something people do in cars at a red light. You said they stop. Makes so much sense. It probably is not going to be there. <laughs> Our survey said Whoa. zero. Fix their hair was number one answer. I'm not going to tell you what I was thinking of people doing in a car. Tell me how old you want to live to be. You said 80. Our survey said 24. 80 was the number one answer. Name a popular male singer. You said. You know, I think this family needs to wake up. Uh, I, I mean, I, I think these are good singers, but I think times are changing. Our survey said zero. You picked two people between 200 people that only three people said. There's another guy. You might not have heard of him. Bruce Springsteen. I don't know if you've heard of him. Number one answer. Something that comes in travel size, you said nothing. $76, $5 a point gives you... $380 shampoo, number one thing in the travel place. Come out here and hug her. You're coming right back. Don't go away. I'm Ray Combs for Family Food. We thank you for watching today. The Clint family are our champions. They'll be here tomorrow. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.